We're heating things up here on Street Smart today. Brands all around the world are targeting women with some eye candy. Pew Research just this week released a study saying in 40% of households, it's the mother who is the breadwinner. And so big names like Kraft, Diet Coke, well, let's see, I think Liquid Plumber's in there, also Old Spice. They have all released these hunky ads targeted towards women. Last week, Dr. Pepper joined the ranks, launching a 30-second commercial featuring a really, really good-looking guy, claiming he's the hottest of them all. Even fewer are really, 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 really good-looking. <laughs> At least that's what I'm told. I'm Josh Button, and I'm one of a kind. Lucky for me, we're joined by him right now, Josh Button, male model and now spokesperson for Dr. Pepper Snapple. So good to have you here. Thanks. It's great to be here. So, what do looks have to do with selling ads to women right now? What's this appeal that Dr. Pepper is trying to go for through you? Well, besides the latest trend, I think they are just going after that woman consumer. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is the abs, maybe it's the shirtless guy coming out of the water, but it got their attention. I think it worked. So, so what happened? I mean, Dr. Pepper goes to your agent, they say, okay, we've got this idea. Your agent says, all right, man, it's time to get crazy. We're, we're going on a beach and we're going to make you the best looking guy in the world. Luckily, they found somebody it wasn't very crazy for. It was pretty <laughs> easy for me. I've been pulling that one off for a couple of years now. Oh, I like it. Uh, how long did it take you to make it? Uh, one day. It was a one day job. Oh, that's pretty quick. Yep. Um, how'd they find it? Uh, Miami Beach, my home. Uh, I was actually just visiting down there. And uh, just, I think they just happened to cross me. Maybe they got a really good research department. Mm -hmm. not, not really sure. But uh, the opportunity came and over the weekend it turned into something big. Amazing. And so, I mean, obviously we've shown the ad. Um, what about when you're not doing the ad. I mean, do they expect you to drink Dr. Pepper or to go to rallies and say, yeah, yeah, drink Dr. Pepper? I you mean, know what, you know, luckily, you know, like, are you a spokesman? Luckily, I like some uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. It is the one soda that can keep me in shape. Right. <laughs> so, so you like it. That, that's helpful if you're, uh, yeah. if you're the spokesperson for the brand. So it's interesting to me that a company uses, you know, maybe this is just naive, but I've always thought that a lot of women like to watch other women. You look at Sofia Vergara, right, who's, who's you know, pitching for, for Pepsi and Diet, diet Pepsi. Um, women look at her and say, oh, wow, I could look like that if I right. drink that. I mean, we're not going to look at you and say, gosh, I could look like Josh. So what's, what's the difference, uh, do you think, using a male spokesperson versus a female spokesperson? It, the it, that, it definitely the turns the table on the attention grabber. Right. But, uh, you know, maybe that guy is out there for the, the consuming mom. Mm -hmm. The woman that's ready to have that uh, diet soda might just uh, go to Diet Dr. Pepper when they see that guy. She might, are those your abs right there? <laughs> those aren't my abs, now, actually. Those are somebody else's. This is part of the bigger trend that we're talking about yeah, right. because, you know, all of these companies, and we can show that back here again, you've got Old Spice, which, you know, historically always had used sort of the, the male hunk to, to yes. push its products, Liquid Plumber's doing it, Diet Coke, Kraft, and so there's very much this push, and, and, you know, let's not forget, women very much a part of the workforce, and certainly through the downturn in the economy, as we saw just with the Pew study yesterday, right. uh, have really emerged as, you know, significant uh, members of this economy, 40% now being breadwinners. Yeah, it's been great to be part of the trend. Uh, luckily, we got to take that lighthearted approach to it, too, and have a little bit of fun with it. It was comedy. I think it came across to most people as a little bit of satire. And, and right, it was a little tongue-in-cheek. little tongue-in-cheek. Tongue have right. you done modeling you know, for most of your career, modeling acting? Yeah. For my entire career, mm -hmm. yep. straight out of school almost. I was discovered in South Beach and uh, been about it for quite a few years now. And has anything changed over, over the course of your career? Uh, I mean, like the, the, way, the way ads are being done or the way they're using you, the way they're using male models? Well, for myself, it's changed just because I've gone through that young man to almost a father to now possibly, if you want to call it a hunk or a dad. Oh, uh, go ahead. We've got it. <laughs> so, yeah, I've graduated, so, so to speak, from a couple different categories. Well, it's such a pleasure to have you here today. It was a pleasure Thank to be you here. very Thank much. You both. Josh Button, male model and new spokesperson for Dr. Pepper Snapple Group.